Welcome to Meditation Moments. I'm Reverend Nikki Golden at Unity of Wilmington. I'm one of the co-ministers here. Let's take a few moments together to reflect, to relax, to spend some time re-nourishing our bodies. So I'm going to invite you to breathe in and out through your nose for a moment. I'm going to keep my eyes open. You're welcome to keep your eyes open or your eyes closed, whatever is most comfortable for you. Just taking a moment to breathe in and out. Breathing in and out helps us to settle our mind. We're in the beginning of the year, a time when many people will write New Year's resolutions. The desire to change is often high at this time of year. And it's a beautiful thing to engage in change, to embrace change. But as we begin that process of knowing that we're moving forward into a new year, let's begin with gratitude. Gratitude for all that's been. Gratitude for the fun times. Gratitude for the challenging times. Sometimes that's the most difficult is to have gratitude for those things that felt so awful or awkward in our past. Gratitude for the fact that we survived them, for one, may have thrived them in many ways. Gratitude for the fact that we came through them, that here we are in this moment Gratitude is about receiving. When we're receiving the moments as they come, we're more likely to be able to navigate those moments. And then as we navigate them, we can be more centered. We can increase our willingness to face what is before us. We can breathe into the moment and settle our minds. We can breathe into the moment and increase the awareness of the joy or the love or the caring that's available to us. Our breath, inspiration. We're inspiring ourselves in many ways with our breath. We can breathe in all that we want to become and breathe out all that we think that we are, that we'd like to release, to let go of, to make space for the new, to make space for that love and that wisdom and that joy that's already within us, to have more room, more spaciousness within us. Breathing in and out, Breathing in and out and allowing, allowing our thoughts to calm, allowing our hearts to expand, allowing those thoughts that like to run around in our heads to simply relax a little bit. And then what is it that you feel like you would like more of in your life over the next few weeks? And how would you like to step forth being more of that? I would like more consistency in my work. And so I can open to that and I can wonder. I wonder how I can have more consistency in my work. I wonder how I can have more consistency in my work. I'm going to let my body move a little bit. So I can find those places of tension when I even just say the words and release them. I can let them go through my breath. And when I can release the tension, I can use my inner wisdom to create the pathway for how I'm going to have that consistency. What if I want to be more loving in my actions? I wonder 
how I can face adversity with love. And I can do the same thing. I can wonder into that. I wonder how I can face adversity with love. And yes, I might look a little silly moving my body, but it helps to move the places that we're stuck. It helps to move the tension that we feel to move our bodies while we're breathing. And sometimes when we're willing to do this, the answers just simply float up into our awareness or into our consciousness. As we breathe, as we wonder, and then as we listen, as we breathe, as we wonder, and as we listen to that divine guidance that's always encouraging us, that echoes our desires, that divine guidance that says, step to the left or step to the right. The way is made forth for you. The way is made for you. What gifts do I have that I can utilize to fulfill these dreams that are coming forth in me? And again, breathe and wonder and listen. And then when I've listened and I've heard to take action from a place of love, Take that action from a place of love and then rest again in gratitude. Gratitude for what is and know that as we do that, as we're resting in gratitude for what is, we're resting from a high vibration and we can listen again for that next desire to come forth. We might have to fight the thought, oh, you always want so much. We might have to listen to that thought and let it go, pull it out of our heads and let it go and say, yes, I do. I want the fullness of life. I want all the potentiality and the possibility that is available to me. And I can do that with a sense of joy. Because the universe universe is my resource and the universal source will echo my thoughts and my feelings that I hold in gratitude that I hold in love that I hold in inspiration until I can see them happening so in this time where we so often set new resolutions in this time where we begin to think about who do I want to be how do I want my life to unfold over the course of this next year? Let's remember to be first in gratitude. First in gratitude. And remember to breathe, to wonder, to listen, and to take action from a consciousness of love. I'm going to invite you to come back to this, this time in this place, this moment, knowing that you have a strategy to move forward with. You have some tools in your spiritual toolkit, and you have support and love. And so it is. Amen. <laughs>